I'm just very proud of our kids. I thought they, uh, I've been playing back-to-back -back games. I wasn't sure how we were going to handle this second one, and I thought we had a really gritty performance. I think the, the thing that I feel the strongest about is the fact that um, I, I just thought we got better, you know, and that's what we keep talking about. I, I just want our team to continue to get better. We got better this weekend, um, had some tremendous performances throughout the lineup. You know, I think Abby Brockmeyer had a great weekend. Uh, Gabby Walker definitely made a huge difference as well. Uh, but how about Peyton McAllister? I mean, uh, you know, I know that she was five for seven from three, which is outstanding. But her defense was really the one that really helped us uh, get the lead on SEMO and, and really feel strong about her performance today. It was uh, something that, uh, you know, we'd like to see every day. Yeah, Peyton, um, I just love her aggressiveness. And the thing I liked about Peyton was she's just all over the place. Um, you know, very scrappy defender, um, really worked hard on her positioning defensively, um, took, and her shots were great selection shots. Beyond the one that was probably the NBA three, but she had to take that was because it was the end of the shot clock. Um, it's just the fact that she put herself in those positions um, and just really liked her play. I mean, it really, when you have someone that comes in and plays like that, it really helps your entire team uh, play with energy. And uh, the kid doesn't get tired. And that's the other thing. I love the fact, uh, you know, Peyton doesn't get tired. AJ doesn't get tired. Those are the kind of kids you can really uh, grow a defense around. Well, I really believe for us to do what we want to do and accomplish this year, um, obviously, especially defensively, we've got to rebound the ball. I mean, you can't give teams, you know, second and third chances. So rebounding is a huge thing for us. We've got to be aggressive on it because usually we're undersized, uh, which we haven't said in a long time. <laughs> but uh, through injuries and everything, we are a little undersized. So we've got to work harder at it and uh, really stay on the boards. Yeah, you know, this is the thing that uh, I think last year we always complained of, that we didn't play the fourth quarter as well as we would have liked. So I do feel like our kids, um, and as our conditioning continues to improve, our depth continues to improve, I think you're going to see us uh, really put in a strong um, strong second halves. Um, but yeah, I, I uh, you know, I have been very pleased with our fourth quarter. and. Um, I'm very pleased with our conditioning level, honestly, right now, because we, you don't know when you've had a pause and a, a break. I mean, you, you got to rely on your kids to do a lot of things on their own. And, um, you know, they obviously did what they needed to do to make sure they're ready to play. Cindy, how, how close was Janelle to playing today, and, and how, how far off is she, I guess? Um, you know, I still think that uh, she has yet uh, been cleared to catch a ball. so. Her conditioning level is probably pretty good. You know, she's working hard in that area, but uh, she actually has not caught a ball with that broken hand yet. So um, I think they're clearing her this weekend to put get a little bit more active. And do you, I mean, do you think Awa's going to be able to play this year, or, or where are you at with her? I sure hope so. I mean, she's just now putting weight on that knee. Um, so I, I, you know, hopefully she's probably still a few weeks away. So. Obviously, we're trying to get her cleared for early conference play. And then, you know, first first time playing back to back, so I thought you, you looked you won a lot of fifty fifty balls, had pretty good energy. How, how different do you think you guys look today, as far yeah. as being tired and conditioning? You know, I thought there's moments when we got tired, but I think that at the same time. Uh, We've got, you know, a really hungry group of players, and that's what I really like about this group is that, you know, they're, they're really hungry to be successful. They're willing to do whatever they need to do. They're working hard. Um, they're very coachable, um, and that's what I think has been really good about this group. So, um, 
Now we'll see how they feel tomorrow, but um, you know, we really stress them doing the little things to take care of their bodies. You know, they'll do ice baths tonight. They'll do uh, roll out and flush outs tomorrow uh, and a lot of hydration. So we're, we're doing a lot of things to help take care of our bodies as well. So to try to get over all that stiffness and soreness, we got a, we got a big, uh, we've got a big week ahead with two big games. So we've got to continue doing those things. Yeah, I, you know, we talked a lot uh, prior to the game about doing those little things, making the easy pass, making the extra pass, having trust um, in each other, um, and, and just good ball movement. We didn't want the ball to get stuck. And um, I thought our kids did a really, really good job of, of being available, especially, you know, they started clamping down on Abby early, and Abby made some really great decisions to get that ball out um, and move the, get the ball moving. So, um, you know, hats off to our team for that really good ball movement. And, uh, you know, we just, that's something that we've been stressing and, and our kids are doing a good job of executing it. One more question for me, uh, going to UT Martin on Tuesday, a team that was the OVC champ last year. Uh, uh, what, uh, what are you expecting from that game and what are the things that you think you're going to have to do to try to uh, keep them under wraps? You know, I'll be honest, uh, I have not watched a ton of Tennessee Martin yet, um, but uh, I do know they got a young lady in Chelsea Perry that's extremely talented. Um, I, I think uh, I'm on the All-American committee, so her name's been uh, thrown across my desk on quite a few occasions. Um, we're hoping to keep her from an All-American night, so uh, that's going to be our focus, obviously, is, uh, you know, we just know she's going to be a vocal point, so, um, but I can't tell you details of stuff because I, I honestly I haven't paid attention to them beyond the fact that I've caught a game here and there, but um, not a whole lot. Uh, you know, I thought we were able to pull away because I just thought we made some pretty good decisions. We used the clock pretty good. Um, you know, we took good shot selection. We were ready for those shots. Um, and again, uh, rebounding. You know, we, we held them to one shot and we got the board. So, you know, Abby and Gabby uh, controlling the boards down there uh, was really critical in that uh, fourth quarter. Thank you. Thanks for being here.